uniform distributions. Uniform distribution is a probability distribution that has equal probability for all the possible outcome of the random variable. And here we have the equation for the continuous uniform distributions, and then we have the formula for the mean, and then we have the formula for the standard deviations. And then A is your minimum value, is your smallest number, and then B is your maximum value of X. So we're going to go through the example 2, and then I'll show you how to use these equations here. So part A, draw a uniform probability distributions over the range X is between 2 to 6. So for a uniform distribution, what we know is that it looks like a, a rectangular shape. So when we're drawing the uniform distribution, what we have on the x-axis is your x, on the y-axis we have the f of x. And what we know is that this is a rectangular shape. The, re the reason this is a rectangular shape is because of the equal probability. All event has equal probability. And because we know that x is between 2 to 6, that's why we have the 2 and the 6 here. x is between these two numbers. And our first step is finding the f of x, the 25%. How we find out that f of x equals to 25% is because we follow this formula here. We know that f of x equals to 1 over b minus a if x is between a and b. So in our question here, our b is the maximum value. So b is your 6 and then your 2 is your a. a is the smallest value. The reason why b is 6 and a is 2 is because x is between 2 to 6. So the smallest number is 2, the biggest number is 6. So therefore, b is 6, 2 is a. So when we take 1 divided by 6 minus 2, we're going to get 1 over 4, which is your 25%. So that's 0 0.25 is your f of x. And that f of x of 0 0.25 runs from between x equals to 2 and x equals to 6. And then your f of x equals to 0 otherwise. So anything outside the range of 6 and 2, your f of x will be 0. And that's what we have shown in the diagram. In a diagram, anything of x between 2 to 6, our f of x is 0 0.25. Anything outside 2 and 6, your f of x is 0. So your y, f of x is your y, your y is 0. And that's what this equation tells us. Anything between 2 to 6, anything between 2 to 6, your f of x, your y value is 0 0.25. Otherwise, so anything outside 2 to 6, your y value is 0. So that's why anything to the right of 6 will be 0. Anything to the left of 2, your y value will be 0. And then anything between 2 to 6, your y value, your f of x, is 0 0.25. And that's what we have shown in the diagram here. And that's part A. Part B, we have done that already. That's what we have shown here. That's your part B. Part C, calculate the mean. And the formula for the mean is A plus B divided by 2. So A is 2, B is 6. So 2 plus 6 divided by 2 gives you the 4. And that's your mean. Your, our mean is 4. Part D, calculate standard deviations. So the formula for standard deviation is B minus A square divided by 12 and then square root. That's the formula for standard deviations. So B is 6. A is 2. So 6 minus 2 square divided by 12. And then you square root. And then you're going to get standard deviation equals to 1.1547. Part E find the probability of x between 3 and 5. If we want to find out the probability of x between two numbers, what we're looking for in the diagram is that what we're looking for is we're looking for probability of x between 3 and 5. And the concept that you need to know is that probability is basically the area under the curve. So therefore, what we're looking for is the area of this rectangle. And what you know from high school or elementary school is that the formula for area of a rectangle is base times height or length times width. So in this case here, our length is five minus three, so that's your, or your base is five minus three, that's your base, that's how we get five minus three, that's your base or your length. And then your width or your height is your 0 0.25, that's your, that's your y value here. So we have the base or the length, which is five minus three, which is two. And then we have the height or the width, which is 0 0.25. So once we times these two numbers together, we're, we're going to get 0 0.5. And that's your area under the curve. And that's your area for probability of x between 3 and 5. And that's part E.